Maybe I re Again! Ah, Tink didn't mean anything by it, Mitch. Yo, what is not up? Tired of long loading times? Have you ever been waiting to switch and pull up your weapon? Or what about scrolling through some of your armor and clothing mods in your inventory? Stuttering and moving through the city? Yeah. Let me see if we can help with that. Sometimes Fallout 4 can take up to a minute to load, and ain't nobody got time for that. Fallout speed, and action, and physics are tied to your frame rate. The loading is tied to the frame rate as well. By default, it's also locked at 60 frames per second, and after all of these years, many have wanted to run it higher, but with stability since there can be some unwanted bugs that can happen over 60. Well, there's a mod that allows you to go over that and maintain stability while taking advantage of displays that have higher refresh rates, such as 120Hz, which is a good recommendation. However, we're going to focus on load times since it's very beneficial, even while running the rest of the game at 60 frames per second. The mod to do this is called High FPS Physics Fix by Antonix35. It requires Fallout 4 Script Extender. It's also available on Skyrim Special Edition by the name Havoc Fix. Now you're okay if you have Fallout 4 on a hard drive, but it would be better on a solid state disk, SSD. And it would be best and much more beneficial on a speedy M.2 PCI Express drive, which makes the game run very smooth with ease. M.2 drives are also how you utilize the direct storage transfer feature built into later editions of Windows 10 and now in 11. This here is performed on an HGST hard drive and a Samsung 970 Evo M.2. Be aware that if you're using certain mods like graphic shader mods that are FPS heavy, they will make your loading a bit longer during loading screens. For example, I can use a heavy ambient occlusion shader or a global illumination shader, which can cut into my FPS when loading from 450 FPS down to 210 FPS, which will make loading a bit longer, but still faster than running without the mod. This mod also works for VR and it has many other features. Uh, you can disable the animation on the loading screen, which is said to reduce load times even further, but I haven't noticed much of a difference. Now, others' experiences may be different. If used on the M.2 drive, it can help with issues some people have when trying to use high-resolution textures. I feel this is essential. If you've been away from the Commonwealth for a while and are looking to get back into it with new mods, this is a must-have. Shout out to Reezy for providing the source of Havoc Fix for Skyrim Special Edition and Slavic Potato for the source of display tweaks for SSC as well. Thanks to the Fallout 4 Script Extender team. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and share, and let us know if this has benefited you. This is the PDG, and for all the gamers out there, our World at War players, uh, Battlefield, 2042 players, donators, supporters, and everyone else. Stay gaming and have a great day. As always, I'll holla. I'm getting tired of waiting. Thinking next time I go to town, I'll dress up as a Mr. Andy. One time I got Hello viewers, don't forget to like this video, comment on it below, share it with others, and most of all, subscribe. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. It's too big.